What up, though? Okay, back at it. Let's just jump into it. The story coming out of Hamtramck, Michigan. For those of you that don't know, Hamtramck is a small little city inside the city of Detroit. Hamtramck Council bans LGBTQ flags from city property after months of intense debate. After three hours of public comment and months of intense debate, the Hamtramck City Council voted unanimously Tuesday night to ban LGBTQ plus pride flags from being displayed on all city properties. Introduced by Pro Tem Muhammad Hassan, the resolution also prohibited the display of flying of flags with racist and political views. Before the vote, Hassan gave a fiery, fiery speech blasting critics of the resolution for not respecting the views of Hamtramck residents. Quoting from Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, how about the government should be uh, of the people, by the people, for the people. The, the clashes represented diverging views about the future of Hamtramck, whose population jumped 27% from 2010 to 2020, one of the largest spikes among older cities in Michigan. Hassan and other members of the council said the LGBTQ plus community and others are welcome in Hamtramck, but that they need to respect religious freedoms. Some proponents of resolution said the pride flag clashes with their faith. Several speakers from Dearborn who were the leaders in protests last year against the LGBTQ plus books and all that stuff, spoke at the Hamtramck meeting saying American soldiers sacrificed for the U.S. flag, not the pride flag. So for those of you who don't know, we're talking about Dearborn Hamtramck. These are two cities in Michigan with high Muslim populations. Asamala Lakeum to all my Muslims out there. But uh yeah, they got some of the largest Muslim populations outside of the Middle East, right here in Michigan. Moving on. You guys are the ones making problems, not us, Hassan said, of opponents at the meeting. Please don't threaten us. I'm the elected official. I'm working for the people what the majority of the people like. City Councilman Naeem Chaudhary said LGBTQ+. Plus. So that's getting a lot. I'm just going to say G. You know what I'm saying? So LGBTQ+, plus, all that. I'm just going to say G for gay. I right, said the G people in Hamtramck have equal access to all services but should respect Muslim sensibilities. We want to respect the religious rights of our citizens, Chaudhary said. You guys are welcome, but why do you have to have a flag shown on government property to be represented? You're already represented. We already know who you are. By making this about bigotry, it's making it like you want to hate us. Hamtramck Mayor Ham Galib said, We serve everybody equally with no discrimination, but without favoritism. I like that. No discrimination, but no favoritism. And that's what people are getting used to in these, what they call minority groups. They're getting used to being favored and uh, basically having their hand held and people, not people, but governments and big business catering to them. So when they're not getting catered to out here in the real world, they throwing a fit, they cry babying about it. But anyway, let's move on. On Wednesday, Hamtramck Mayor uh, Amir Galib, and my bad if I'm, you know, pronunciation, you know, my words, I always be saying words a little weird. Just the other day, uh, me and my girl talking, and I said some word, uh, I forget what it was, scientifically or something weird. She's a scientist. You mean scientific or whatever? I'm, I, I talk how I talk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. That's all that matters. <clears throat> so Hamtramck Mayor appeared on the podcast of former GOP nominee Tudor Dixon. Dixon, who lost to Whitmer in November, then turned the conversation to GOP 
efforts at courting the Muslim community over their joint opposition to the LGBTQ plus rights during her campaign. Dixon ran on a platform of banning books um, and ba barring trans athletes from competing in school sports. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about the Muslim community on television because people have said, oh, Republicans are trying to horn in on the Dem on the um, on Democrats territory and that Muslims belong to the Democrats. This is what Tudor Dixon said on the podcast. She goes on, and it was interesting from my perspective because running for office, I had a lot of people who said to me, you know you're a Christian American and you're not going to be able to win over the Muslim community. And then as the campaign went on, we started to connect with our friends in the Muslim community. And they were like, look, we believe in policies. I mean, we're obviously putting our faith aside, but it's our conservative values that we agree on. The mayor Mr. Ghalib Jalib agreed. Muslims are conservative, he said. They have high value to their faith and their families and their freedom. The three F's. But I will say they put faith and family first and some people will sacrifice some of the freedoms in order to protect their faith and family structure. Woo! Talk about a whole mouthful when it comes to these LGBT uh, stuff. Real quick, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's okay for Hamtramck uh, City Council and Mayor to ban the, uh, the LGBT flags? On city property. It's only on city property. It's not like they banning them across the whole city. You know, you, your house, your property, you can put up whatever you want. But they talking about city property. So like schools, libraries, the, um, you know, the city halls, stuff like that. They, they don't want no political flags. They don't want no LGBT flags because it's like a political movement nowadays. They don't want no racial flags or nothing like that. Um, what do you guys think of that? Me, my opinion, personally, um, I agree with it. I think there should, they should, um, I think every city should, uh, uh, ban all that. Like they said, the racial, the political, and I look at the LGBT thing like it's political now. I didn't before, no, you know, I, I, uh, but the past couple years, there's no way you can tell me that the LGBT don't have a political motive in what's happening in the world today. They definitely do with all these big companies like Bud Light, Target, um, you name it, Kohl's, you name it. All these companies having that and they're doing it because the government is pushing these ESG scores on them. So it's definitely a political movement, political motivation. Um, I didn't think like that before, but now they've made it political. And I agree with uh, my homegirl, Tudor Dixon. The stuff should be banned from schools. We don't need no LGBTQ sexualization in our schools. That's a no-no, no bueno. Um, I just seen recently, too, not too long ago, the other day, they was trying to do some Pride Parade Month in Russia. And Putin, the Russian police, whatever, they, they, they put a stop to that. They weren't having it. I think they started to ban some LGBT stuff over there. You know, they're saying, hey, that's not our values. When people are mainstream and the governments and these big business are catering to a small percentage of people what they call a minority group but the rest of the world they don't they don't want it they don't want the stuff in their face they don't want to see the flags on their on their schools and city halls and um you know i i agree with it we don't put none of that you know what i'm saying we should if if, if certain groups of people could put flags on their own city halls I'll make my own flag and put it on the city hall and on the schools. You know what I'm saying? You can make your own flag and put it on. You know, we all can just make our own flags and put them all over city hall and the schools and whatever we want, right? 
Now, honestly, it's not really that big a deal to me. I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I, I, li I be living my own little world and stuff, but I don't push my views and my beliefs on other people, and I don't think other people should push their views and beliefs on other people, including me, you, whatever. We could all coexist without all this back and forth stuff. But that's what they want. The rich people, the elite people, they want us arguing about this, about LGBT, about Muslim and Christian and the religion. They want us, you know, fighting over race and this and that. And, you know, it's all one big blob of people arguing and fighting and being all, you know, demented over whatever belief system they have. Um, flabbergasted to me, but hey, teach us on. It is what it is, man. I just be doing my thing. But I appreciate you for tapping in. I appreciate all my subscribers. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. Drop your thoughts and opinions. All that good stuff. Share it, whatever. Notifications, whatever. Do, don't, I don't care. So whatever. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Much love, peace, blessings, much gratitude.